and Crazy Stupid Love, which, I, which is the other Ryan Gosling film out this week. So Ryan Gosling, two movies out this week. So the story is, actually, it's fundamentally, it's a Steve Carell film. Steve Carell is uh, married. At the beginning of the movie, he discovers that, in fact, his marriage has fallen apart. It's terrible. What's he going to do? He finds himself out on his own for the first time. Here's the scene when he goes into the office to, to tell people that, well, people have discovered that his marriage has fallen apart. His clip. Who told you that Emily and I are getting divorced? You're getting a divorce? Yeah. Amy heard you crying in the bathroom. We all thought it was cancer. Oh. Thank God, man. <laughs> yeah, just my relationship. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God. Oh. Oh. Divorce. <laughs> I'm so lucky. You are. I have to go pick out furniture now. Okay, okay. You go for it. It could have been cancer, buddy. Hey, everyone. It's just a divorce. <laughs> all right, buddy. Thanks. Feels good. Yeah, very good. Yeah, thank you. Love the show. Anyway, so the story is then he then uh, starts hanging out in bars, getting drunk. Ryan Gosling comes up to him and says, what on earth are you doing? You know, your life is falling apart. I'm going to show you how to go out there and be a ladies' man. Ryan Gosling is the ultimate ladies' man. He, you know, have a conversation with somebody for two minutes and say, let's get out of here. And they all say yes. He teaches his art if it can be so called, to Steve Carell, who then turns into a womanising, uh, you know, a middle-aged philanderer. Well, not philanderer because his marriage is broken up. And meanwhile, we have an Emma Stone subplot sort of hoving into view. And then this, everything is heading together. All these characters are going to come together in the end in the most unbelievable kind of hodgepodge plot contrivance way that will either make you go, oh, or make you go, uh. here's the problem with it. It's one of those films that exists pretty much on the basis of Ryan Gosling is very, very handsome and very charismatic, and here he is being handsome and charismatic, and Steve Carell is dorky and schlubby, but let's see whether he can do a version of Ryan Gosling. And it wastes many of its key performers. I mean, for example, there's very, very little for Julianne Moore to do. Um, There's a small role for Kevin Bacon, who I think is always worth it, even in small roles, but there's not enough. But the main thing about it is it's nothing like as funny as it needs to be. It's nothing like as... uh, I mean, it is one of those movies like The Change Up. It takes a basic idea, can the Steve Carell character become the Ryan Gosling idea, and then just overplays its hand massively. And of the two films, I mean, it's not terrible, it's just not any good. Of the two Ryan Gosling films out this week, Drive is the one to see. But this, oddly enough, is the one that seems to exist because it's like, hey... It's Ryan Gosling, right? Look, look what he looks like in that suit. Look what, look what he looks like in that shirt. Look what he looks like in those shoes. Wouldn't you like to be Ryan Gosling? To which the answer is, in this film, no. And the film itself ends up saying, Ryan Gosling, in this film, no. So it does that kind of slightly duplicitous thing as well. But the key thing with it, the key problem with it is, it is nothing like as funny as it needs to be.